everybody uh, besides Quran is healthy heading into the exhibition. Uh, we've had a very competitive, uh, I guess, training camp portion of our season. Uh, love the mentality every day that these guys uh, are showing and uh, uh, just the togetherness that this group has shown. Um, I know I've talked a lot about this, but they're spending a ton of time together off the court. Uh, chemistry, I think, with this group is, uh, has been off the charts. And hopefully that will help as, uh, as we go into the season. And uh, we're excited about getting out there and playing against other guys. And, you know, you just kind of get sick after a while. Everybody knows the offense that you're running and starting to cheat the plays and that type of thing. So getting out there uh, and playing against an opponent. I talked to Shane uh, a couple days ago at Shadron. He really likes his team. And it's a completely new team. Uh, they got a lot of talented uh, players uh, on this roster. It'll be a good test for us. Right now, obviously, this portion of the season, you know, we're, we're worried about ourselves. And, uh, you know, we're going to have two more hard practices leading into the game, uh, afternoon game on, on Sunday. Uh, we'll try to get everybody out there uh, as much as possible. Still trying to figure out a rotation, exactly what that looks like. Uh, as far, again, as of today, we will start Greasel at the one. We'll start uh, Bandamel at the two. We'll start CJ at the three. Uh, Wilhelm at the four and Derek at the five. Uh, so, you know, again, looking forward to getting out in front of our fans. Completely different look, uh, com completely different feel. Uh, I'm sure a lot of the guys will have butterflies getting out there for the first time in a game setting, uh, but we'll learn a lot about ourselves. You know, whatever happens on Sunday, it'll be a great opportunity to learn and, uh, and hopefully grow from it. There's been a lot of talk about the progress of the <coughs> culture and just getting the locker room to have that chemistry together. How about on the court? Yeah, I think so. I think a lot of that, Robin, uh, you know, just from a positional sty size standpoint, when you have Sam, um, you know, leading the charge at six seven with a ball in his hands, uh, Emmanuel, a kid that has a ton of experience at this um, uh, in in college basketball at six five, uh, you know, CJ. I know we've talked a lot about just how, how he's transformed his body. Uh, rebounded the ball very well. Getting Wilhelm back out there is, is huge for us when he can start 6'10 at the four and, and a skilled player that can knock down shots. And then Derek, uh, you know, another guy that's played in, in two leagues, um, you know, two of the top leagues in the country at Tennessee. And now, you know, can't believe it's his fourth year here already. One sit out and then, you know, basically being on the court for two and a half years, you know, but then guys like Jawan. Um, you know, and guys like Blaze, uh, Denim, uh, off the bench, who gives us a, a size and physicality. So, you know, a lot of it, I think, is personnel driven. But, you know, these guys are really bought in. We do rebounding drills uh, daily. We have good physical uh, practices. These guys don't complain. Uh, they come in. They're very coachable. And, uh, and it's really been a fun group uh, to be around. As far as offensively, <clears throat> I've been really impressed with the unselfishness of this group when somebody gets a hot hand they've done a phenomenal job of trying to find them and locate them and uh, that's how it has to continue to be we don't need to go out and change things you know once we start getting out in uh, in game settings we get two exhibitions uh, with Shadron and, and uh, the game at Colorado next week um, but these are phenomenal uh, opportunities to learn a lot about who we are and uh, in what areas we need to address before the season opener Yeah, they've, they've really grown. And, um, you know, it's when you jump from the level where Ramel and Jamarcus were in Kale, um, you know, just what they were playing against last year as, as opposed to what they're going up against every day. I mean, you know, they're playing against 22, 23 year old guys. Um, you know, in Derek's case, 24. And, you know, it's. It's so different than playing against 16 or 17 year olds, but they've adjusted, I think, very well. I think they both have very, very bright futures. Uh, you know, Jamarcus is a kid that can really get it going, uh, you know, as far as being probably, I'd say, one of the better shooters on this, uh, on this roster. Uh, Ramel's feel, um, you know, he's really coming along. He's, he's uh, playing a lot of point guard right now out there on the floor. Um, you know, Kale's just a rock solid player out there, uh, you know, with Karan out, you know, we'll see who the guys are that, that demand uh, those minutes. Emmanuel can certainly give us stretches. He's played a lot with the ball in his hands as well. So we've got some options there. You know, now it's about who you can trust, you know, once we, uh, once we get in live action. But yeah, I'm really, I'm really happy with our freshmen and where they are right now. 
Yeah, we just, you know, we played the last couple of years, we played Doan and, and we've played uh, Peru. And, you know, I think the COVID year, I don't think we played an exhibition. And, uh, you know, just really want to help out and take care of, of schools in the state. And um, actually, uh, Larry Riley, who's a longtime NBA executive, a uh, good friend of mine, went to Shatron. And he still does a lot of things to try to help out and talk to me and, and asked if, uh, if, if we do this. So, you know, I think it's a great opportunity. Again, I think it's, 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 it's going to be a good team that we play on Sunday with a lot of athleticism and, you know, they're going to test us off the bounce. Uh, so, you know, I'm, I'm excited about it, uh, happy for it, happy we can help, um, you know, <clears throat> excuse me, in this situation and, uh, and hopefully we get a lot out of it. You mentioned it a little bit right there based on their personnel and what they do. Where <clears throat> Yeah, I, I, they, they really drive the ball. And again, we, we don't know a ton and, you know, we're not going to put a full scouting report in. We'll, we'll go through what our game day prep looks like. But, you know, again, right now the focus is going to be on, on us, <clears throat> you know, but they, they really do drive the ball well. And just looking at some of their new players and additions, uh, you know, a lot of guys, I think two of them averaged almost 20 a game in junior college. Uh, and, you know, in talking to Shane, they've got certainly guys that can make some shots as well. So, you know, again, it's a team he, he really likes. It sounds a little bit like us. I mean, he has a team that he really loves to coach and, uh, and a group that comes out and battles every day. So which work you guys had to do this offseason, um, <coughs> both on and off the court, and the way the schedule starts out going to St. John's game three, do these exhibitions take on more importance as far as kind of expediting the, the process? <coughs> Oh, they're, they're always important, Robin. I mean, you know, you look at, um, <clears throat> you know, even our first two opponents, we're, we're playing against teams that, especially in today's age with transfers, I mean, the portal, you know, teams are older now and, you know, they've added talent to their rosters with their first two games with Maine and Omaha uh, before the St. John's game. So we've got, a, <clears throat> talked a lot about it, a very demanding schedule this year uh, with 28 of our 31 games uh, being against high major opponents. So, uh, you know, getting a feel for who we are early and, uh, uh, you know, hopefully going out there and correcting things. We had a good long film session today. We had an inter-squad scrimmage um, on, what day was that, CJ, on uh, Tuesday. Uh, took Wednesday off, and, you know, we had a good probably th half hour, 45 minute film session. And I was really pleased with the way our guys went out on the floor after addressing some of the things that we needed to get better at. And the energy their guys showed from the very first drill <clears throat> of practice all the way through to the end and you know trying to go out there and, and learn from the mistakes that were made which there were plenty of them uh, in the scrimmage on Tuesday but we took a definitely step in the right direction after that and hopefully uh, you know some of the things we'll see on Sunday we're better equipped for <clears throat> just defensive mistakes, Jimmy, uh, for the most part. I thought we played very unselfishly uh, in the scrimmage. I was pleased with our offense, um, you know, but again, when, when the first couple times, that was our third inner squad, uh, we're certainly better than we were the first time that we got together as a group, uh, but there's still plenty of room to grow as there is with all teams at this, uh, at this time of the year. Just the energy they showed, you know, when they when they went into the gym, um, you know, we do a shooting <coughs> skill type workout the first 15 minutes of practice, and just the energy they showed, I knew it was going to be a good practice. All right, thank you guys. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think we made a lot of progress. Um, we've been going over a lot of film. Um, coach has been on us about our, our standards defensively and things like that. So we're starting to hold each other accountable, hold ourselves accountable. And coach has been holding us accountable the whole year. So, so far, so. What are the standards defensively? Uh, just like the standards of like our principles and and where to be, talking, hands, keeping your hands active, and things like that. Those are like our standards things you have to do every possession. Yeah. You know? Um, I think like missing rotations, uh, some guys are tired, so it was just like light stunts. It's just little things like rotational things and um, just clean up stuff, really. How did you guys respond to this time? Uh, like Coach said, our energy was high today, um, paying attention to um, those things we went over in film. 
And I think I think we're all starting to like accept that the defense is our defense in terms of like, all right, the coaches enforce it, but we have to enforce it as well um, uh, in between like ourselves and stuff like that. So yeah. I mean, it's not. I wouldn't necessarily say somebody's like particularly like saying this is our defense, but it's just like accountability. So like, like for example, today I I was late on rotation. I was like, dang, I gotta be there. And then Derek said, Derek was late on rotation. He was like, dang, I gotta be there. So just being able to like recognize and and understand like we gotta do better than this. You know what I mean? I think that's how we're accepting the fact that it's our defense type deal. I'm, the balance there between, like, okay, we did good, but also... I mean, everything comes to ebbs and flows. Like, we're, we're going to have good offensive days, but we don't ever want to have bad defensive days. So it's like, I would rather have good defensive days every day than only good offensive days because defense wins championships and stuff like that. So. How many chemistry have you built with Sam so far? Through Griesel? That's my guy. That's my guy. I enjoy playing with Sam. Um, and then off the court, he's a great dude. But on the court, it's, 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 it's dope to play with him. He always finds me. Uh, he's just, he doesn't give himself enough credit for how vocal he is. I said this, early, I said this yesterday. Like, he's really vocal in terms of uh, in huddles and um, even on the court. Like, I could, I, could, I could play with him in terms of, like, he just gives me a lot of confidence, a lot of energy. I could, like, follow suit in, turn, in that aspect. So. Fans haven't seen you guys play in a while. Mm -hmm. Just our energy, like how we go about games and our approach to games. Just, I think that would be the first thing they recognize. And then, of course, once we go up and down and see how we play, see how we execute our offense, execute our defense, they'll just see how, how much different it is. Yeah. Nah, we're not, I'm not going to go into it with, with that mindset. It's not a, that's not a good mindset to go into a game with, so, you know. Um, I think, I think the mental aspect was is a completely was the biggest thing, um, just in terms of my approach and being confident. And I just I think now I'm just more of a read and react type of player. Um, somebody runs me off the line, I make a play. They don't run me off the line, I shoot it. Like it's more so like a quick into myself and just playing my game, honestly. Mm -hmm. What what does he expect? What can they do to show him that they deserve playing time in, in his two exhibitions next week? Well, I mean, first playing hard, but I think it's, it's, it definitely depends on um, the player and what, what role they play. But, I mean, I guess I, I, I don't have the one making those decisions, so I can't really tell you um, if what what somebody can do to get on the court. But I, don't, I know playing hard and playing defense will get you on the floor, so. Coach was talking about unselfishness on mm -hmm. offense. I was really like that, but you always just said you need to feed the hot hands. Mm -hmm. What's the balance, especially for a shooter like yourself, to know when you're feeling it and mm -hmm. call for the ball while also keeping that unselfishness at that point? Yeah, I mean, it's not even necessarily when – I really enjoy playing with this team. Like, um, we had a scrimmage and me and KSA got going, and it wasn't even like we had to call for it. It was plays just being called – Sam coming down, calling uh, whatever our play was for to get a, get a, either me or Kase a shot or his transition they're looking for. Us. So it's not even necessarily that somebody's calling a play or we're calling for the ball. They're looking for us. So. With the way this roster's put together, do you, do you feel like this season you're going to be able to showcase what you can do individually a little bit better than maybe what you've been able to in the past? Could you repeat that? With, with the way that this roster is this season, do you feel like it's set up to showcase what you can do Mm -hmm. better than what you've been able to maybe do in the past? I mean, maybe, but it's not even necessarily about that to me. Like, I just want to win basketball games and do what I can do to help us do that. So, and it's not necessarily, whether that's showing my whole repertoire or making it one more or taking a charge, whatever the case is, you know what I mean? I just want to be able to impact winning, so. What else is in your repertoire? Do you have any more shake in your game than maybe you've showed so far? I mean... We we'll have to see. <laughs> you guys have been talking all summer about how, how well the chemistry and culture stuff has been progressing. Mm -hmm. How do you expect that to translate onto the floor? Um, I think it already has translated. Like, we genuinely enjoy 
each other's like, you know what I mean, presence. So we, that literally just, is just that on the court. Like we pass the ball to each other. It's not, nobody's competing with each other in terms of, oh, I'm not passing him the ball because he don't pass me the ball. It's none of that. So it's like, I just, it's just a good place, to, a good environment to be around and be in and, and play and play in as a, especially as a shooter. Um, so yeah. You know, just uh, knowing that somebody has your back, you know what I mean? And it, and I think now we're accepting, like I said before, that this is our defense as as players, you know what I mean? So we hold each other accountable. The individuals hold themselves accountable to being in the right spots and have their teammates back in, in those situations. So, yeah. And then you and Karan are pretty close. How's he holding up? Yeah, he's good. He's good. He, he His um his uh, process has been going a lot faster than – Expect it, honestly. He's he's back walking. Yeah, it's like four or five weeks out of out of surgery. Um, so yeah, I'm happy for him, man. He's taking it with uh, he's taking it head on. Um, and I'm just happy for him. He's in good spirits. So. How do you feel about that point guard position after Sam? The depth. I mean, obviously Karam was mm -hmm. a big part. In yeah. How do you think those other guys have stepped up? Um, I think they stepped up tremendously. Like um, like Coach said, E man, uh, Emmanuel. Um. He's super solid, especially as uh, the secondary ball handler. He makes good decisions with the ball. Um, he's not selfish. and um, So I think th those two things is just uh, uh, good qualities to have, especially as a backup point guard. What about like Ramel and Kale? Um, like Coach said, they're, they're both solid as well. They I think they um, are now coming to their own and is a lot more comfortable. Being in this environment and, and, and playing against us every day. And, um, of course, it's different during game time. It's a lot of fans, things like that. But I feel like they've definitely held their own. It seems like Kale has – is not your typical walk-on. He's, he's got – it sounds like he's got more of a chance to play than yeah. the typical walk-on. Yeah, yeah. What have you seen from him so far that, that shows you that, that that's possible for him? Kale's solid. Like, he makes the right decision probably 90% of the time. 95% of the time. Um, he always finds me, so I like playing with him. <laughs> um, but, yeah, Kale's solid. He guards. He can pass it. Um, he's getting more confident in his jump shot, too. So, it make, that'll make him a threat as well. So, he's definitely stepping into his own. Anything else? Thank you, Thank you.